everybody. We're here today to call attention to Margaret Chin and her, her ignoring her constituents and the people of New York. She's she's violating the zoning laws that prevent that prevent that prevent the building of the high rise towers and allowing allowing the developers to violate the zoning resolution article 7 chapter 8 which states that outright any developments that change the neighborhood character and block sunlight and air create traffic congestion or cause any adverse social economic impacts are not allowed in this area these these towers would violate each of these requirements therefore they should not be built plain and simple in the last few years, the de Blasio administration and Margaret Chip and the developers have been violating the law. We say that it's enough and there are no compromises. We don't want any more high-rise towers on the Lower East Side. They're destroying our community and they're contributing to displacement and secondary, secondary displacement of our small businesses, our mom and pop stores, Woo! Woo! and tenants of moderate and low income. Again, we're saying no compromises and we don't want any towers coming up and we want our Chinatown Working Group Plan, which is a community-led rezoning plan, rezoning plan to be the law of the land. Not just on the Lower East Side, but all throughout New York, that the de Blasio administration is making all these land grabs and disrupting low income and moderate income neighborhoods. Enough is enough. So that's why we're here today to file this ethics complaint. And again, we're saying enough is enough. No more of these high-rise towers, no more of these land grabs, no more giving public assets away to rich developers. And what we want is the Chinatown Working Group pa law passed. Chinatown Working Group. So that way we can get low income, and low income, really affordable income for the citizens of New York. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No towers! No towers! No towers! No towers! No compromise! No towers! Our neighborhoods are not for sale. We're tired of the homelessness situation that this city has been creating. And you think that you're safe? You're not. That's Get right. together, people! Get right. together and make it happen. So just real quick, just want to say, people out there are probably wondering, well, have you guys tried to talk to a local council woman? <laughs> we've tried, we've tried many, many times. She knows damn well that these big towers violate the zoning law. Thousands of people across the community have signed petitions and submitted these petitions to her, letting her know that not only will these towers result in mass displacement, but these towers violate the zoning law. Legal experts from various organizations across the city have thus also sent her legal memorandums, letting her know exactly how four mega towers, each one between 60 to 100 stories tall, will violate zoning resolution Article 7, Chapter 8. Yet she persists in doing the dirty work of the de Blasio administration. 
and on green lighting these towers from going up. So that's why we're here today. Once again, we have an ethics complaint right here in my hands. We intend to deliver to her. But before we do that, we have a friend and a comrade assisting the struggle, Carmen Holbert, who represents the citywide alliance against displacement, who will speak because it's not just Councilwoman Margaret Chin. There are many criminals in City Hall right now. So let's give it up for Carmen. <laughs> We are here united like a fist, together, fighting the next fight against displacement. The city wants to build four luxury towers in our neighborhood, on the Lower East Side, in a place that we go home. But we are not alone anymore. We have the support of thousands of New Yorkers from other communities who are paying, who are paying attention to the fact that Mayor de Blasio is destroying our neighborhood. Day after day, week after week, month after month, his greed has no limits, and he has our city council in his pocket full of bribes. This is another scheme to favor developers in the takeover of our land in a city that belongs to us, the immigrants who set foot here years ago and built their homes. They built our communities. We don't want to lose our community because of greedy developers who, with the support of corrupt elected officials in our area, have decided that they like the view by the river. And now they want to build those luxury towers that are illegal under the current zoning. We don't want to accept Councilwoman Margaret Chief's recent proposal for the towers to go to Europe. A lengthy process that is meant only to assist the community, but will only give us a run around. They are trying to fool us. In this fight, we must keep fighting against the towers without listening to the council woman chief and without accepting any crime. No compromise. If we don't want this to be our last Christmas in the Lower East Side, we have to stick together and fight. Do not look back. Fear of going against an elected official means having to build your own power. Taking power is scary because it feels so uncertain. Even while the elected official is allowing everything else, community neighborhoods, to be thrown down around us. We have to be ready to take power as a people and do not look back. This is the only way people have ever won anything anywhere. We have to help our neighbors not to be afraid. We can do that today by being strong and not fearful. We have nothing to lose and a lot to protect. United, we will win. No compromise. No compromise. We're going to wrap up this press conference in a little bit. But before we do, uh, I want to call my brother Tony Quaylen over. We, I have right here in my hand, this is the ethics complaint that we intend to deliver to city council. Once again, we're calling on city council to sanction Margaret Chin for knowingly violating the zoning resolution and greenlighting the mega towers in the waterfront. So before we go up, I just want to feel a little bit of strength because, you know, hey, let, us, let me can let us carry, our, uh, carry the anger of the community into this building right here. So stand with me. No towers! No tower! 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 Who's the criminal? 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 Alright, so we're gonna go in. Wish us luck. Who are they supposed to represent? Aren't they supposed to be open 
willing to meet with the public when the whole community comes out here speak to them about the life and death of our community so i just want to say this today is just the beginning september sorry december 12th we plan to hold a town hall meeting coalition to protect chinatown lower east side we call on everybody in the community to come join us we expect Councilwoman Margaret Chin and Mayor de Blasio to come down to the community and show their faces. We know the anger in our community is simmering. We've been ignored for too long. Our voices have been ignored for too long. It's been clear that they care nothing about us, that all they want to see us is pushed out of our community so that a handful of developers can pocket enormous amounts of wealth, even if it violates the law. So we're gonna start today. We're gonna go back into our neighborhoods. We're gonna talk to our friends. We're gonna talk to our neighbors. We're gonna talk to our families. And we're gonna make sure every single one of us is there on September 12th. And we're gonna tell them September. December 12th. I'm wishing for warm weather, that's why. <laughs> December 12th, everybody! December 12th. We're gonna send a message to City Hall. We're not gonna let these crooks off the hook. We're gonna mobilize. We're gonna do everything necessary to protect our community. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? All power to the people. 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 Because we know where that's at. That's why we can say it with full confidence. No towers, no compromise. 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 That's our plan. 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 Yeah. No backing down. They didn't really say anything. They just said that we couldn't deliver the letter today, plain and simple. No explanation whatsoever. I, just that's it. No explanation whatsoever. So the council member thinks that she can hide behind these buildings, behind a handful of security guards. That's why we must continue to organize. That's why we must continue to fight back. That's why we're going to call her down to the Lower East Side of Chinatown. And if she doesn't come down, we're gonna take it to the streets and let her know exactly where the fight is at. Chinatown, Lower East Side, we got soul, we got heart, and we ain't gonna back down, right? Am I right? No backing down. No towers, no compromise. 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 Who's a criminal? Margaret Who's a criminal? Margaret so that's it, y'all. We're gonna bring it back, December 12th. Make sure to bring, let everybody know. Town Hall, Margaret Chin, Council uh, Mayor de Blasio. We're gonna put them on the spot. So make sure to get everybody out there on that day. Thank you, guys. Yeah.